Hi, my name's Chris Mockridge. I'm a trainee journalist. I recently made a programme for BBC Radio Devon about trawling, about the British fishing industry. It shouldn't be complex, but it just raised more and more questions. We have boats, we have fish, and we catch them. What could be simpler? The sea is the last wild place on earth, and it's been wrapped up in so much red tape it really needs unravelling. We've got days at sea restrictions, length and type of vessel and equipment and quotas, and all of these things can throw up really bizarre situations. A fisherman recently had to shave one and a half inches off of the length of his boat to make it apply to the rules. A waste of time and effort, and it didn't save any fish. The quota situation can turn up some bizarre situations. A man with a hold full of fish can actually have to pay money to land those fish, not earn anything on them because the quota, essentially a piece of paper, a license to land those fish, the license is costing more than the fish are worth. A bizarre situation I think you'll agree, and a situation that leads to fish being dumped at sea. That can't help fish, it doesn't help feed the population either, and it doesn't make much commercial sense. There's lots of madness surrounding the situation and I want to get in there and have a look at it. I'm proposing for the final project of my master's degree in broadcast journalism. A series of six web clips where I look into the industry and shed some light and hopefully, hopefully shift a little bit of the British public's apathy about British fishing. We don't eat hardly anything that we catch here. We sell all of that abroad. And of the fish that we do eat, the salmon, the cod, the haddock and prawn, well, we buy that all in as well. The British cook, it would seem, has never been more out of love with British fish. Time for a change, I think, and that's why I'm asking for your help. I'm asking for your financial help to help this happen.